Good evening everybody, welcome back to Contest of Speed Tier 2. We're live from the Cathedral of Speed, just outside Milan, Italy, in Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. And the timing couldn't be better, we've just joined the stream and we're now heading out on track. I, my name is Dan, I'll be your commentator for this evening. As per, sat alongside me, it's my lovely friend, Matt's here again. Hi Danny. Hello. Hi. Yes, round Monza, and uh, well, tier three it was very hectic last night, and it was a two lap, well, I say two lap shootout, a last lap shootout. It was. Decided, and penalties played a part, so there'll be many people with penalties this evening, as well as in validations during qualifying, so it should get a little bit spicy. Should do, it could be good fun. Uh, let's just hope that. Uh, Nothing untoward happens. So Arbar is the first man out on track. Now the guys took a long time coming out of the pit. I'm wondering if ah, Tier 2 is going to throw up some ah, classic nah, Tier 2. Fine. Oh my god, Blank's in the chat. Oh no, I've just seen that as well. I'm glad you made that. He's here! He's alive! He lives! Yeah! How are the moose? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. All right, so Arbar, the first man out on track. Let's ride on board then at the Cathedral of Speed. Heading down towards turn one. Come on, this is where you throw your knowledge. You've been here before. <laughs> All right, fine. Through turn one then, the first chicane. Heading up now through turn two, the long swooping right-hander of the Curva Grande. Which in... Well, I'll probably be maxing out. The only other place you will do. Heading down that. Second chicane. The Variante. Grow your right handers of Lesmo. So that's Lesmo 1. Short straight and then Lesmo 2. Very slight left hand kink, similar to Austria, that is actually classed as a corner. Uh, the Curva de Sorelio. And then we go through Ascari. That's fast. He has him, uh, the entry to Ascari validated on, I think. Now the final corner, the Parabolica. So named because of the parabolic shape of the corner. In the same way the one at Hockenheim is. Uh, one nineteen one for Arbar, although he did invalidate, so James Strain with eighteen six, so there you go. Already on the pace. And I've just realised I got the chicanes wrong. It's turn one that's the uh, Retifilio. <gasps> the second chicane is the Della Roggia. And someone's gonna have pulled me up on that in the stream chat and I've not looked at it. You watch. Um, the weather report has come in from the uh, the Williams garage via blades that is with his usual technical term as he likes to use it's dry as Gandhi flip flop interesting thank you, thank you, interesting considering India has a monsoon season yes but fair enough maybe that's um, it maybe it's cold possibly possibly who knows who um, knows but it's lovely to see a full grid once again and the reserve listing working it's usual man magic. Just the one reserve tonight, so there's 19 actual EU2 drivers. Yeah, well, and uh, technically two, I suppose, if you count Mozza, isn't it? Oh yeah, Mozza. I forgot Mozza is stepping in for... Um, uh, Rosa until he gets back. Rosa until he gets back. Because obviously Mark has um, left us. Yes. But yeah. He turned into Kvyat, that's what happened. Nothing else needs to be said. Oh yes, Blank's cheering some bits. Go on, 1900. You go on, you animal. 1900 bits. Perry threw some at us last night. Yeah. She's, she's this good. is some good stuff. Good evening, everybody. So interestingly, two guys have gone out on mediums or have done something. I think it's 
to have done that. I think Mozzie decided to have. I don't know if been out that. Um, uh, he has been out. Yeah, he went out on the sauce, I think he invalidated. Speaking of, the other Ferrari now we're on board with, Charlie. Had a couple of rough results to start the season off, uh, having finished last season very well. He says he's struggling with the new handling mechanics from this year's game, but we hope he'll be able to get himself up to speed again quickly. Powers for the line then now, although he has invalidated this lap. I wonder if he's going to try and go again. Not quite. He won't have the tie of life to do so, I don't think. Nope, and zero VRS mode is kind of suspected. Yeah. Uh, so let's jump to Lewis then. The surprise package this year, I feel. I mean, let's be honest, we joked when he said it last week. Oh, it'd be funny if we saw you at the podium and uh, we spoke to him on Monday and uh, yeah, we saw him at the podium. Yeah, we did, was, yeah. That happened. Yeah, he got great result last week. Great result week one in Spain as well. Definitely the uh, driver of the season so far, albeit only two races long. Early judgments, but actually all comment on this, but all tier three guys that have come up are uh, have actually adapted quicker than what we expected. Which yeah, they're performing good. admirably. That's not always been the case. No, some have gone up and. Struggled. struggled with how competitive tier 2 can be although I think tier 3 nowadays is a lot more competitive than it ever has been before uh, 196 for Lewis putting him into P7 fastest time so far is by Jamie with a 118.6 not a bad banker that's not, I mean, a, bad banker. That's not that's a bad banker good. at all Titchy goes into second place so it's Mercedes Alfa Romeo Alfa Romeo wow, nice. Alfa Romeo yep uh, one hundredth of a second. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Forty-three thousandths of a second between second and fifth. And I guarantee you, those aren't going to be the times they finish on either. No, nope, they'll all improve as long as I get the laps in clean. Who shall we go and see? Hmm. Uh, let's go hijacked. On a lap at the moment, they're heading up towards Ascari. <laughs> Eased off and had to short shift on the exit there. That's going to be I agree. The hardest complex on the track. Closely followed for me, actually, by the Lesmo 2. I know people are struggling. It's it's a weird corner. Speaking of, Arbar's the first man in Tier 2 to be claimed by Ascari. Loses it on the exit. Was it me? I didn't say anything. I'm not picking up the near role of being the commentating <laughs> assassin. No. Uh, Hijack with a 19.3 puts himself into P7. Thomas and Lewis down. Mozza back out on a lap at the moment and he is on a flyer. So we'll ride on board then. Just have a quick look at the championships. I would say after the first couple of rounds, it's a bit I would say there's some surprise candidates in the top five. Yeah, the top five and we Jonathan Cox, big. he's the next one to go. Strike two! Uh, in, by the way, whilst we were talking about the uh, the crashing at Ascari, Cavey's popped up with the fastest lap with an 18.5. Jamie has improved to an 18.5, and NSX Unseen's gone into an 18.7. Yeah, that's an improvement as well. So they're all. I think they don't want to leave it to the last run because track limits around here are incredibly harsh, and it could be uh, there's a lot of pressure going on. Yeah, there is. And Mozza's had a mare at Ascari. He's made it through clean this time. He's not invalidated, and he will have a time on the board, but it's not going to be a competitive one. Mozza and Kelso obviously raced last night, so should have a little bit of experience of it. Yeah, from what I could tell, though, last night, Mozza didn't have the race pace, necessarily, that his qualifying would have, sh would have predicted. Oh. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Jump across into Dan. Sorry, I'm watching a Williams and a McLaren here having a drag race for track position. And who's won? 
it's uh, any sort of unseen, followed by Gavey, they're both coming in. So. Yeah. Uh, Dan has improved with his first run on the soft tyres to an 18.7 to put him into P5. Probably a couple of attempts to find. He did an 18.4, not long before uh, we started. So still not a bad position, I don't think. Yeah, we've got the wizard on a lap now, coming out of turn one in the classic Schumacher helmet through the Curva Grande. So you're Robin struggling, so he's down to 51%, so he's gonna have to go again. Ah, too spell has. So he's not too spell anymore, is he? The wizard has uh, invalidated at the Della Rocha. Behind him, that's a tennis freak for those that have not been uh, catching up in recent events. Name change for him, having moved to BNB. I'd imagine that's simply because he couldn't get BNB in front of tennis freak. I, I, would, I would think so as well, to be fair. I mean, we might be wrong. So, what? Not a bad line for a guy, a little bit of a twitch on the exit, but. Mm, it was that upshift that cost him there? If he'd kept his foot in, in sixth, he might have been okay. Yeah, but I th depends if he's using automatic or manual gear. Like manual gear, True. I think most of these are using manual. If it's automatic, if you skip cut across the curve on the, the last curve on the inside, then it shifts it up to seven, which is a pain in the backside. But yeah, sure is. Stumpy's gone fast, Danny. Another one in the 185s, so they're all joining up nicely. Oh, yeah. That's per usual. And. Uh, Jolly managed to get himself an 18.6 there. Oh, who is that off the track? That's, that's yeah, it's one of the alphas. Yeah, it's Indeed, it Big is. And damage. Should have enough time. Uh, yeah, he'll have plenty of time to be able to get back. Just seen Lewis uh, turn one, two, so he should just be coming round and going back in because he's running out of fuel. Mm. Um, for anyone uh, watching the stream, i.e. Blades, can you find out how far behind we are on the timer, please? So we're currently at just over four minutes. Blades is also helpfully put in last season's pole time, but that's sort of irrelevant because change of mm. conditions we saw, and uh, yeah, we can't really contrast it between this game and the old game. Yeah, I saw Blaze earlier put in the fastest lap from the race, which I think he said was fax number the 21 0. Well, that got obliterated yesterday. Last night, yeah. Yeah, um, and I would expect these guys to do the same. Uh, Wisey Boy has improved to P9 with a 19.2. Let's go with an unseen then, through Ascari. 45 seconds, they are... We're ahead. Okay, yeah, so unseen then coming around towards the Parabolica. The man I think that's been... The most harshly done by so far was seen as one of the championship contenders coming into the season. Still is. Um, he was two temps up. That was the absolutely ruined the last sector. But he was already two temps up, which is a bit strange. Um, yeah, I, I think I, I haven't asked him, but I think we were just con as confused as everyone else last week as to where his pace went in the race because yeah. it just looked so much more comfortable for the first stint and then it just went to a, went a bit of rye. It did, yeah. It, it was, that was really, really weird. But we'll see if he can finally get himself on facts. Has he not? There's a lot of guys actually no. with no laps in. Excuse me, there, hiccuping. Also, a few guys in the nine. Oh. I say the nineties would be quick to get better. Thomas has improved to nineteen flat, so that would be pretty much quality over. 
Um, I would say anyone who's not out before on our screens it gets to 45 seconds. Anyone who's not out of the pits by then I think will be Struck. their qualifying will be finished. Um, Robin's gone again. Kelsevag I would expect to go up to soon. Eight temps improvements, so that's another one in the 18.7s region. Mr. P5 bidding to shed that title, currently in fourth place. Oh, wow, still very much doable. Yeah, and uh, trying to improve, trying to catch the guys ahead. We need one and a half tenths to do so. Wizard has just put his only time in, it's a 19-2, so is in prime position of a P11 for an alternate strat he wants to go. Well, you say that, right. he's, he's only going to go down bumped. from there. Yeah. The one I'm surprised at at the moment is Titchy, although he is on a lap, so we'll see if he can improve. Um, I would say anyone in the pits now, so Kelsevag, Jamie, Stumpy, Dan, Thomas, all of those guys. That's quality over, oh, I don't know. Thomas has just hit the, uh, has just hit the Scary. So Faxon's, Faxon's, uh, Faxon's going to join him. I think, I wonder if they've gone in nice together man. there. No, he's one after the other, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's so, very nice to uh, suck it up. <laughs> we might get... Well, before we saying that, we've got maybe another... Uh, Drace is coming into the pits, so that's his qualifying over. Unseen, he's starting a lap now. 18.7, the time to beat. There's a tow going on, I'm seeing it down towards the scurry, it's between the two Alpha Towers. Yeah, uh, you guys will be able to see that on the screen on the right hand side, those two blue dots. Oh, and he's cut a scurry, no. Uh, all for nothing in the end. Unseen then, up to sector one, split. He is a tenth and a half up, currently putting himself at around an 18.6. It will put him into P4. We'll see what he can muster in the final half of the lap. Realize mode 2, powers down now towards Ascari. Sector 2, split coming up under the bridge. Three tenths up. Now oh, he's on for an 18-4. Keeps it clean through Ascari. He's got one corner to go. Jamie's on a lap and it looked very close with the chequered flag. I if he's made say. it if he's made it through, it's all that matters. Here comes Unseen then. Powers for the line. Can he take pole position? No, it's second. Sector three let him down. It's an 18-5-3-3. Jamie's a temp up with sector one, but he's just gone dead. Sorry two, so that time may have gone, but oh no, no, no. Through. Gain another two tenths. This at the minute would put him a significant way ahead. Right, he threw a scary. Didn't want to bin it. The man who came from tier one, he's backed out of the lap. He's backed out of it. I don't know why. We got, it looked like he got loose on a scary like going through it. It wasn't like fully attacked. Hmm. I, I'm just, I'm wondering why you wouldn't at least try and finish, because he, he was in with a shot at pole there, even if he got, he only needed a tenth improvement. Very strange. Anyway, Lewis, the only man left out on track at the moment, and he comes into the pits. So there we have it then, Stompy takes pole position at the home Grand Prix for Alfa Romeo. His teammate Titchy though, down in 12th place, not a great session for him. And Rich. as as he's just pointed out, Dracer is in P5. Mr. P5 in P5 with the uh, the Dutch Dutch Danish sorry uh, fans watching on. There are a lot of Dutch fans as well. In my defence, as there are drivers. There is yes. Now we're getting a lot of Danish guys in, which is always fun. So we're just waiting for the last man, which 
is Mozza or Kelsterswag, but that timer will finish pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Very tight though, isn't it? So it is, yeah. Two temps, well, three temps between top ten. And only eight temps separating first and sixteenth. Fair enough. Which well, we were kind of expecting though this year when we moved the guys that have mainly battled for the top three places. We up to two one. Yeah, um, it's been, the, the surprise package for me. Well, I say surprise package. The surprise in a negative sense for me so far is Arbar, because I thought he would have been running away with this, him and Unseen. Um, but there's a lot of guys in there keeping them both honest, which is great to see. So, like we said, Stumpy takes P1, Unseen in P2, and KV P3. Stumpy and KV, of course, last season's starring uh, starring members in the Tier 3 Championship. Titchy, of course, the supporting cast. Uh, not in a position to do so today, I don't think, barring some twist of fate. But look at that, less than a tenth separating first and fourth. DRS range of uh, everybody of else down. yeah it, turn one especially is going to be an issue um, we've seen pretty much in every race we've ever had that you always end up with an accident at turn one here someone yeah. misses their braking zone or breaks early or something happens thank you spot he's raided and brought in two that's what we love to see all are welcome here. Yeah, I, if we can avoid a crash at turn one, I think we'll be good. And then it'll just be a case of who can avoid the wall at Ascari. I hope Spud is looking forward to his race on Thursday. That's going to be a fun one to watch. It certainly will be. It certainly will be. Spud, the man who... We've all wanted to see do well. Struggled a little bit so far, but he's had good race pace considering where he started off on the game. But for now, anyway, our concerns move to tier two. Lots of guys. I'm expecting to come through the field after a uh, pretty interesting quality. But well, it's not going to be that interesting, I don't think. Everybody on the soft tyre, except Faxland, Arbar and Jonathan Cox. Which is good. Actually, to be honest, it would have been nice to see how everyone does in terms of race pace against each other. It would, although... It's the same amount of actual drivers in this team. a fair point would be nice to see it will be nice to see um, I expect the, those front four to really start to pull away maybe if Dracer and Jordi and Moza can stay with them they'll take them with them and give us a significant battle towards the end after that uh, I'm not sure I would expect Titchy and the Wizard to move through the field Arbar and Jonathan Cox as well so they're going to move and they've got some feisty opponents in front of them. What? They've got Thomas, Wisey Boy, Dan, Robin in front of them. It's going to be uh, pretty tricky to uh, negotiate those guys, I think. Yeah, that's true. It will be. There's not that much of a pace advantage, I would, I would say, between those drivers. No, so it will come down probably to who has the advantage at the time. 
see someone like an Arbor or a Jonathan Cox, a real hijack perspective, to move up the field. But that's what EU2 has brought us this year, it's that unpredictability. Yeah, yeah, and well, we'll see what happens. We move then to line up on the grid then. Stumpy leads the field around. A little bit spaced out there. Who's that Renault? There's a big gap in there. That hijacked. I think it is. Stumpy in his grid box. Thank you, Ricky, for hosting the stream. Oh, good man. Congratulations on your result last night as well. Quickly get that one in before we start. Four, five lights. We're going to have the glitch, I know we will. Lights out. We wait for the glitch. The revs build. And away we go at Monza. It looks like a great start for Stumpy. Jamie as well, but he's having to defend from Drace, who's going to try and go down the outside of KV in the Williams. It's as you were at the front then. Stumpy leads into turn one, unseen in second place. Drake's a challenging KV. Yeah. Jamie's had a shocking start down to P8. He's been mugged in the midfield. It's the racing points versus the Alpha Tauris. And it's an there's just a cloud of dust as cars charge through that second chicane into the Lesmos. I think it was KV after all that. That was a bit of a kick up there. Um, yeah, Narbar's up to 13th down on the medium. That's going to be important to count for later on. Yeah, it is. Meanwhile, up front then, Stumpy trying to pull away from Unseen with Dracer right behind him, having got ahead of both KV and Jamie at the start, up to third place. Unseen with a little wiggle coming out of Ascari, could put him under pressure. We'll wait and see as we head down towards turn one. We've all made it through safely. We have, we've got the tyre strategy popping up. The mediums or the hards, preferably Oh, looking for a move on Unseen. Unleashes that, gets himself alongside. Can Unseen hang it round the outside though? Not quite. Position well taken from Dracer there. And that's put Unseen into the clutches of Cavey. He's going to try and go around the outside of the Curva Grande towards the Retifilio. They're side by side. Barely stopped them. Big wing damage for the pair of them. KB oh. makes it through. Slams the door. Muzz has got damage. Oh, so is Dan as well, by the looks of things. Dan's got some big damage going side by side with Jordi as um, NSX Unseen came back on with his instant with KB and uh, for the Ferrari and the Williams. Nowhere to go. Yeah. Uh, Jamie on his recovery drive now has made it back past Jordi with Wisey Boy now closing in as well. Uh, Mozza the cork in the bottle it seems at the moment behind NSX Unseen and Yordi got a shocking oh, accident uh, yeah it was Titchy That's yeah I think we're going to see him move from Wisey Boy down here but we've got Jamie getting past Dan into 6th as oh, Dan stops wow. yeah, Dan be. and Mozza in could have been. Uh, Lewis sort of the back of Wise Boy. I'll oh, go on, Lewis. You thought about it there. Come on, come on, come on. Titchy's with a lunge in there as well. I saw that one. Yeah, Albar now up to 11th place. So Big winners then off the start. We've got Lewis up six places, Arbar up eight. Dracer up three, up into second. He's going to do really well so far. Big losers. We've got Muzzer and Dan, but they've stopped, of course. Apart from that, uh, real life down six. And Faxon down three. Kelsvog and Tyler going side by side, albeit for 15. Hijack's got that front wing damage that he's trying, well, he's trying to stretch it out, I suppose. Yeah, it will be. And we can just see, we can see how much damage he has. We've got the telemetry working this week. Uh, 
he'll be the only one on that strategy as well. He will, yeah. Yeah, after uh, the other two stops, so Jonathan Cox and Faxland. Although those two can t uh, two stop for softs now into the end. Just to bear in mind. Meanwhile, at the front. And he's taken it away from Stumpy. Oh, man. Wow. No. Please for a certain Williams, because uh, Jonathan Cox just lost it on a Scarhari, and I, I don't know how Dan has survived to put it that way. Yeah, Jonathan Cox, I think, has made it through that without any damage. He has, yeah. yeah. He's made it through without yeah, damage. Somehow. Hijacked in his... Uh, side by side and Lewis is through again so we're already losing both positions to both the racing points. Yeah, he's struggling at the moment. No wing damage that I can see. I think because they're running so close together none of them got any rhythm whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile at the front Stumpy and Tracer are just pulling away. KV two and a half seconds back. Gonna, he's going to be coming under pressure from NSX Unseen before too Tracer long. He is. Team Denmark will be loving this. And Titchy looks like he's going to go down the inside of Jordi into the Parabolica, side by side. It's going to be who's got DRS? It's going to be Titchy. It would be Titch, to be fair. Uh, both of them have it. Going, yeah. They're running that close to each other, it doesn't matter. Diordi's going to try and come back at him around the outside. He makes the move. He goes late on the brakes. Titchy will have to defend. A little bit of contact between the two. We've got to leave some space. And Jamie's going to try it. No, Thomas even. Yeah, Thomas. He's, he's going to mug off Jordi up the inside. He says thank you very much. Now Arbar around the outside of Jordi as well. He's having a torrid time of it. Arbar into the points. He's got that massively wrong by the looks of things, and he's down into 12th. Uh, Dan and Mozza have had a, a scrap at turn one and a bit of a coming together, I think. Still are. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised by the look of it. That was a side pod to side pod glitch. Mm. We'll never know. We'll find out later, probably. Um, but cave at the moment, Dan, look out front, just can't live with the pace. Oh, Titchy's uh, got a scar in he? he has, yeah. We could have a safety car here. VSC. VSC. Will so, we see the leaders stop? That's no, the Trace question. Trace is going to keep going. Stumpy's keeping going. Cavey's coming in. This could be crucial. That's probably not the whole late change of heart for the ball. Lewis doesn't know what to do. I think Weiserboy and Lewis sold each other down the river there. Let's see then, KV coming in for mediums. I can see the Alpha Tauri crew there. Getting ready with a set of softs, I believe. Yordi's retired in the pits. Why would you do that? Don't know. I don't know, uh, but uh, Fax has picked up a drive for as well. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, KV out then in P8. Current distance to the leader is 27 seconds pit stop here on average will net you around 23 so he's gained a little bit of time compared to where he was beforehand and that's only going to keep coming down I think oh well made a mistake Danny he lost two positions there pretty hmm. sure strange wizard used that to his advantage to get himself track position and now he's going to go and attack Robin towards Ascari, here we go, McLaren and the Alpha Tower is side by side and the Wizards made it through yep. Moving on. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it because I think he's made that move too early he's not going to have DRS from uh, from Lewis in front and I think that Robin's going to take him back up towards turn one I'll tell you what, the gap the, uh, the two out in front have got over everyone else is a uh is significant but the, oh, oh, there was a swoop across there from the wizard late on and Robin had to take evasive action there was contact between the two sorry a swoop might be dramatic to call it uh, full course safety car that's now Charlie. that's the third one yep yeah, he's gone at Ascari as well 
now this this plays into the hands of Dracer and Stumpy. And I tell you what, I've just seen something and I did think. So Dan's coming, Hijack's coming, Jonathan Cox, so they'll probably go to medium. They should do, yeah. I've got a spare set going. Hijack's gone to hard. Hijack's gone to hard. Um, this helps out the guys that pitted originally under the VSC because those mediums would, would have had to stretch. To make it to the end. Um, True. Still will, I think. Yeah, they'll still be able to make it to the end. The big winner, though, is definitely Dracer, Stumpy, Lewis, Robin, oh, Wizard. Pretty much ideal for them. The one person I think who loses out here is Arbar. Because what does he do? Because if he stops, he has to go to hards. Unless he wants to tease up on softs. So our boy's going to stop, Danny. He's going to stop. Let's see what he goes to. The leaders come in, and I'm just waiting to see where KV is. He might retake third place, but he's not been able to capitalise on it. In fact, he will retake third. Lewis, will he keep fourth? Unseen, and Jamie goes through. Muzz is still going to finish up behind these guys because he mm. was, um, he stopped and he's on hard so he can go to the end. Yeah, and Arbar has gone to hards to go to the end of the race. So he does not have to stop again unless there's another safety car. The medium runners might. Very interesting. They might have to stop again. I doubt it. Um, considering they're all in the same boat, I don't see any advantage to them doing so, but they might. And that is 24 seconds. So. Yeah, so KV would have got them. In good position, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, definitely, he's especially off the start. He's going to have more tyre at the end, mm -hmm. which is what we're worried about with these mediums. It is touch and go. It is, yeah. Tire, right? um, um, I was just thinking then to myself, is it worth him cycling tyres? and then, But not really, not now. Um, he'd be too far back at that point. Robin has severe collision with Thomas. Now, has that given him any damage? No, no visual damage. Mm, let's have a looky looky here. Uh, Robin doesn't have his telemetry on, so we can't tell. What I would say though is that it might not sound significant, but KV's tyres on average are 5% more worn than the two in front of him. Because of that uh, that racing lap and a half he managed to put on them. It, it's whether they're going to be able to, uh, whether KV's going to be able to live with the, with the pace. We saw the softs, he didn't have it. No. Front two, but uh, maybe. Suited to the medium time. Maybe. I've uh, just got some information from from Jordy about why he had to retire. His brake pedal broke. Oh. Which would explain his, his lack of pace oh. somewhat. I mean, yeah, especially around here when you're averaging 264 kilometers. Now, uh, yeah, you probably need some brakes to just slow the thing down. So. Since, hang on, where. Since when did you go for big stats like that? Uh, I've got it in front of me, mate. It's on oh. the, uh, the website, under the track section. Damn. You see, this is no, why I need Matt. There, mate. Matt does his research. I just sit here and shout. Matt does his actual research. So I suppose, mate, we're not expecting anyone to stop, so this is just a square fight to everyone to the finish. Somewhere. It is, yep. Um, so then, as it stands right now, this is, everyone has stopped, everyone does not have to stop again, in theory. Uh, big winners are Arbar, up in 11 places from his starting position. Dracer, of course, in the lead, up four places. Both 
racing points up four and seven places respectively they've done really well the big losers Mozart and Dan Robbo down five and the others uh, it's only in one or two places so not too bad see what he does on the restart and safety car it, in Danny you know what you need to say I do indeed and I'm just waiting for Stumpy to go he's gone buggy 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 let's go racing boys Tracer's got the yeah, rev glitch so we'll go, we'll go with Stumpy instead he's managed to stay with him uh, Mozza dropping C down Mozza as well dropping down and he's into the pits with Jonathan Cup that would be, if I'm not mistaken, that's a speeding under SVC. Uh, it is. Mozza in for a wing change and medium tyres. Meanwhile, NSX Unseen dropping back. Lewis now trying to go around the outside of him through the Curva Grande. And he's through. Absolutely going. So a lot of guys. Shocking. He has. Shocking race. Yeah, cold tyres by the look of things. The two racing points looking really good at the moment. Front four, as you would expect. Jamie's managed to recover. Get himself back into fourth place. KV staying with the leaders at the moment. Yep. KV's also already got Jamie outside of the RS window, which is going to activate it. Hopefully after this lap. Uh, be the next time around. I think it's normally two laps, isn't it? Yeah. Jamie's burned his ERS for this lap, Danny, so he's... Ooh. Not good. And Wisey Boy is going to be right up his trumpet. Yep. A lot of guys using that, that to burn a lot of DRS. And it's Dan's got Kelsey's bug in his sights and... Absolutely crazy past. Yeah, I was just watching the racing points there, and Wisey Boy was going oh, flat out. We've got didn't a bit of a scramble. Dan's going to get past uh, the wizard. Dan and the wizard close to each other. We don't want to miss that oh, battle. There's contact between the two. There's the, Arv the uh, red bull of Arva. They're just blocking the way for the wizard who loses out, and Dan makes it through. Now, to jump to a conclusion, Whoa. but I think Arbar was trying to let possibly the wizard back through. Maybe. Maybe. We'll never know. We'll never know. Back then to the next. Near it. Yes, probably so. Dan closing in on Robin then as the next man in his sights. DRS, of course, will be enabled when they come up the start finish straight this time around. Unseen dropping away from the racing points it seems at the moment. As we said, DRS has been enabled. It won't be for this start finish straight, but it will be for the run to Ascari and then up here the next time around. Let's see who hasn't spat their ERS. Jamie is in the worst position followed by Wisey Boy. Then it's surprisingly and I'm not surprised it's Thomas then Dan and then Arbar. And the wizard's spending it as well, to be fair. Hmm. The wizard trying to get himself ahead of the f Arbar's Red Bull. Yeah, those hard tyres are only probably just coming up to temperature. Take it a little bit longer. Mm hmm. I suppose on the balance of it, that was his only choice, really. Unless he wanted to gamble on there being a second safety car later on in the race. Well, VSC, it's always possible around here. It certainly is. We got. I uh, said to Carl with three laps to go last night, so anything can happen. Just, uh, yep. <laughs> it's, oh, I'm probably going to lose a couple more. Uh, so, leaders then. Dreiser has one and a half seconds now over Stumpy, who has the same gap over KV. Jamie has managed to get himself within DRS range of the Williams. Hijacked his pass. The wizard on the hard tyre as well. I think but that's because the wizard has no ERS left. I think that's 
And here comes Faxland. Yeah. Derek, could he go for double? He could go for a double here if he's if he's brave on. Ooh. Oh, hi, Jack. With a little wiggle in the breaking zone, just gives Faxland the "thou shall not pass." That could have uh, could have been a little bit tasty. If he <laughs> that could have been, yeah. Dracer ex extending his lead at the front. Jamie closing back in on KV. Wisey boy's dropped away, but he's now under pressure from his teammate in Lewis, who's built a nice gap behind him to unseen. Who's in a bit of a race of his own at the moment. He's got Thomas behind him, but apart from that, he's not really near anybody. It's a shame because we saw this last week and we're not speaking negatively of him. We know how much pace he's got. It's, it's just strange that he has pace for the first bit as Thomas has hit the ball with Scary Danny. Um, and he's not got it for the second. He's not got it for the second half of the race. Yeah. I think how Thomas has got away with significant damage and not a retirement is beyond me. So I'm just having a look, Thomas. Oh, it doesn't have a telemetry on, so I couldn't tell either way. Um, we've had a multi 2 1 at racing point, whether it was That's intentional or otherwise. Nope. Because him and Robin have got both of the DRS as hijack has got past Arbor. Mm. I think Stumpy's made a mistake somewhere because KV now is right on the back of him again, within the second window. Still hanging on in there as well, to be fair. So yeah. Still on top four. Let's see if uh, Lewis has got any pace to potentially close that gap and drag his teammate along with him. Well, he's certainly pulling away from his teammate, and he's he's dropping away from Jamie. So we'll have to wait and see. Jamie, of course, did have DRS. Cavey now in the toe of Stumpy's Alfa Romeo. A little bit of a lock up going into Parabolica. That, that must be a corner that locking up into in real life must be absolutely terrifying. Cavey has got a decent run of Stumpy, but no He's not ERS to use. He's not going to be close oh. enough. But considering he was. Nine tenths away at the start of the, f the last lap. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. And the wizard and Kelsey's fight going. Oh, and the wizard's round! Oh, round. Just saw that on my screen. Um, no damage for the wizard. Arba, though, does have minor wing damage. On the right hand side. Now, uh, he's been in the wars, just put it that way. Yeah. KV right in the gearbox of that Alfa Romeo again, but not quite close enough to pass. Jamie just biding his time behind. Yeah, he's, he's getting a little bit closer. What it means is because there's running in DRS each other, Lewis cannot, he's really struggling to uh, close down that gap. And this could be it for KV, four tenths at the gap, but Stumpy's got the overtake button to pull away and it's just holding the gap as it is. Everyone's running low, the only person that actually looks in any decent shape in terms of ERS. Dan, so Dan is doing some kind of saving at the moment. So it's 75%, everyone else is down to the line, 30. Kelsey's line mm -hmm. is up there as well. Uh, race leader is on 40% at the moment, but he's still pulling away with Stumpy being put under immense pressure from KV. Mm. He's, uh, he's driving superlatively at the moment. I'm going to have a little look see at the penalties, I think. Oh! I think on, you have fun. So, Jamie has got one, Lewis hasn't got any. 
Why is he boy has nearly got two? <laughs> Just looking oh, at. Got a few. Oh, Robin's got loads. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and a five second. Okay, he's managed to save up some battery power to use this time round, but so has Stumpy. Just had a message through from the telemetry software we use. Thank you very much, Tebow and IGK, for providing us with that. Uh, the weather at the moment is starting to cloud over. The temperature is dropping, both air and on track, so that's going to favour the softer compounds of tyre. It's only going to compound our bars issues up to this point. Uh, they will go to the end from this point. He's got another one. I'm not going to count him. No. 15. He's got 20, I think. Second of the memories. He's got the ball. Yeah. Uh, Dreyser now is 3.8 seconds near enough to Stumpy. Stumpy, look that. The back end of that Alpha does not look good. Just starting to show now is a uh, kind of what we expect from him. Mm. Well, we know he can do it in mixed conditions, but we've uh, we've scarcely seen him pull off a performance like this in the dry. Just the, at the moment, just seems to be controlling the uh, controlling the pace. He's the only man, I think, at the moment who's not in a battle that's in a significant position high up the field. And he'll be able to get himself that rhythm and just go. Although the gap's starting to close now. That's sort of a stalemate you've got. I'm seeing that has it's now started to come back at people. If the racing points play their cards right, they can keep on scene there for as long as they yeah. want. Um, it's too hard, guys. Hijack and Arba that are now next to each other on track again. We'll see what happens. KV still looking for a way past that Alfa Romeo, but Stumpy's just got the pace. I haven't got the ER, oh, have Twitch from ER KV. No, and I'm just wondering what Jamie's going to do about this because he's now the man in I won't say the prime position but he's the one who's just watching on and has a lot more oh he's gone he's gone at the parabolica that's wing damage for Jamie such an unusual place to, um, to drop the car I think he just clipped the, uh, the painted section on the outside and that's going to compromise him massively but it will be soft tyres to the end and a wing change for him. And he's off and away. That relieves the pressure on KV. He can now go full attack mode and not have to worry. Gap behind him is 4.4 seconds. Now without the, out, without the racing points to be able to put a move on, it's actually the, uh, the Lewis Wiseboy unseen battle goes now down to Thomas. Robin and Dan's just. He'll about soon be there, won't he? Just about to see him. Yeah, he'll be there near enough. Uh, Dracer up front, then he's now starting to extend that lead again. 4.1 seconds back to Stumpy. Yeah, just controlling it at the moment. It's been far up, trying around four seconds. Just he knows the situation. He knows the penalty situation as well. They're both on the same. It's just controlling the race. Trying to keep those tyres alive. Obviously, KV is the one that's going to be struggling because he's got uh, slightly older tyres. But I've been, uh, I wouldn't say, su well, slightly surprised, but reasonably impressed by uh, Andreas's performance. I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's controlled the race. Once he got himself in front, he's controlled it. Uh, Arba looking Thompson. for a way past hijacked, but he's not going to be close enough. Uh, Thompson got past unseen in 
into turn one, two. Yeah, and now has 1.8 seconds to make up before he gets to the back of YZY, 1.9 now. So uh, we'll have seven laps to go then when we cross the line this time around. KV again closing in on Stumpy, but will he have enough to get past? I don't think so. He's got him covered off, hasn't he? I think they're both using the, ER, the ERS at the same time. They've both got levels as well. Well, the thing is, KV's using his out of the Parabolica for the majority that I can see. Yeah, Stumpy's doing exactly the same. But the problem, That's Stumpy's... Like Stumpy's keeping himself ahead because of that boost initially, but KV never seems to have more than 25-30% charge, That's, which... Well, I think his setup, to be fair, if I'm being honest. The fact that if he's able to hold him there in the slipstream isn't helping either. No, but I think it's... I think that Monza, it's going to be similar to how it was last week at China. Sorry, and Robin and Unseen are going round turn three side by side. Looks like a... Fernando Alonso and Mark Webber jobby. Mm. Gets a better exit out of the uh, second chicane. Uh, we'll probably be, We'll see. He might be able to make the move back on Unseen with DRS, but he's had a poor second Lesmo. But he's burning all the energy and he's going to have a go for it, I think. As to the inside. Uh, and it was contact between the two, unseen hung it out to dry. Oh, look who's there, Danny. Yeah, look who's there. He's lurking behind. He's got his popcorn ready. He has, and he's got a lot more charge. He could make the double move here if he's uh, if he's feeling banzai enough. I think there's going to be another swap down the racing point. Yeah, there will be. Whitey Boy's got a better exit. DRS, not even using overtake. Lewis lets him. Go past. Uh, let's see if Wise Boy now can close in on the back of the front three. Maybe they've been losing a lot of time. Uh, Thomas is close. He's raining them in actually by quite a bit, but has a couple of the penalties to his name. Yeah, slow and steady progress. Meanwhile, the Wizard and the Cubs sort of renewing their battles. Uh, the Wizard is on top on this occasion. He certainly is. KV then. Still at around the six tenths of a second behind Stumpy. And he's still unable to charge that battery. Look, he's still at between 20 and 30 percent. Oh, the, the front three are very similar in the way they're deploying it, where they're deploying it, and where they're saving it, and how long they're using it for. Oh, okay, he's going for it early. He's, he's changed his tactics. Oh, now I don't know which one of them is going to get DRS here. Being KV just, I'm not sure. We'll see. One of them... No, it's going to be Stumpy. Oh, really? Neither. No, or neither. They were exactly the same They're to three same. decimal wow, places over the DRS line. Neither have I. Unless one of them's got a DRS failure. But... And Jonathan Cox at Ascari. That could be another safety car. Look. It is another safety car. Oh, that's a heavy impact. There's bits of carbon fiber everywhere. And we'll jump on board with Faxland and see if we can see it. I think we will see everybody now stop for softs, and we will have what will probably be a three lap, three or f two lap shootout to the finish. So who's going to gamble? Oh, just as he Someone gets there, the car goes. I, mm, I don't think there's much point. Those tyres are going to be knackered. Arbar, I think, is the only one who could, but he'll get mullered. I'll tell you what, it pays dividends to Mother's and Faxon, who've been staying in the race. Mm. All the time, we've seen they've been at the back by some distance because of any misdemeanours they've been involved in. Yeah. Faxon, of course, having just stopped, keeps going, and he'll get himself ahead of Mother. 
the man that I would not want to be right now is Arba because if he'd stopped for softs first time round don't do, don't do it to him. Well, I'm only saying it because it's because what I did yesterday if I'd held my bottle and stayed out on the softs I could have pitted under that safety car late on and I would have been a lot oh, higher up the field is in, and Stumpy stays out KB stays out they've stayed out that that could be very very costly although both oh, racing points stay out both racing points stay out Thomas stays out Dan stays out Robin stays out no I is only eight, though. yeah and if there's a big enough scrap ahead of him he might be able to capitalize and he's penalty free as well if I'm not mistaken wow this could uh could shake up everything. It certainly could. I'm on board with Faxlin still, which I don't really want to be. Not that I don't like him, but he's not at the uh, he's not at the sharp end. Mm. So then, this is interesting. Stumpy retakes the lead. KV in second. There's the only cork in the bottle, and that's Kelsey Sark. He's the one that's massively out of position, and then it'd be Dan that's going to be probably under attack by the guys on the subs. Um, but yeah. people with penalties saw it yesterday how much that influenced the results with basically a one lap sprint to the finish. We're going to see another one to tonight. Well, depending on how long that safety car stays out for, we're going to get at least one more lap out of it. So two lap sprint finish, the guys on the moon probably think of it just hang on the dear life. I think, yeah, I think Stumpy and KV might be able to hold on unless they get swamped by everybody around them. I think Drace's best bet now is to try and he's gonna he's gonna have to go on the attack. But it's gonna be a case of um just trying to keep himself clean. KV doesn't have any penalties either. I can just see uh, Thomas asking in the chat. Um, it's interesting got a fresh set of stuff. It will, yeah. Let's have a look. Penalties. Wisey Boy has three. Thomas, 12. Robin, 15. Dan, three. Uh, Robin's got 20. Is he, oh, has he got another five as well? He's got that five second time penalty, which, unless he's, uh, mm, beforehand, um, no, that's for speeding the pit lane, so he's not coming to stop, so that's 20 seconds, Dan's got a couple, well, nearly a couple. Uh, Robin Obviously, actually has two stop and goes, so two five okay. second penalties, yeah. Um, and Kelsterberg's overtaken him for something to do. Kelsterberg was in front of him, he was the split between... Oh, no. Uh, no, I think Robin's had an off somewhere. Uh, no, oh, Kels is uh, taking it I for ignoring yellows. Ignoring yellows. Now oh, those guys oh, need to get a shuffle. Look at the gap, though. It was like eight seconds, and then it was four seconds in front. Yeah, I... Five seconds off the lead, off the back of the train. I think we'll get safety car in this lap, if I'm honest. Because I think Dan was behind Robin, so... Yes, because yeah. Dan was behind Robin. Robin, Robin split him and Thomas. Whoa! Yeah. Speaking of, that was very close. Yep, safety car is in this lap. Stumpy backs up the field. A few of them just nearly ran into the back of each other. It's always the same. So we see the tyres then, the front six. Well, you could probably count the front eight of the front nine uh, on their used mediums. And Stumpy goes. I'm not doing it again. We've already done it once. He's going to ride on board with KV. He's had a poor parabolica, but Wisey Boy was sleeping. He's not going to be able to make him pay for it. Stumpy already a second clear. Great restart from the Alfa Romeo. The man I want to watch, though, right now is Dracer. We've got an accident in sector three. That's Faxland. I think he's made a mistake. Dracer going to go down the inside of Dan into turn one. He's now up to sixth. Ooh, oh, a little bit of contact as well, I think. Yeah, Between I think you're right. Dracer now 
all over the back of Thomas. Shouldn't pose too much of an issue, I don't think, down towards the Della Rogia. Hijack past one, hijack nearly past two, through turn three. And Andres is through. Thomas is pushed wide. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't need a second pair of overalls. That's twice tonight. <laughs> yeah. He's nearly clear for someone. It's on his third set. Dracer though, on the charge. Lewis, the next in front of him. We're going to stay on board for the time being. That racing point is in the sights of the Haas. Stop, he's nearly escaped, Danny. Nearly got out of it, but he had a poor scarring. Oh, yeah, he's had a poor middle sector, hasn't he? Dropped right back into the clutches oh. of Cavey. Robin's gone off as well, but he's lucky to still be on. Oh, Dreiser hits the back of Lewis. The overspeed from those soft tyres not helping him at all in that circumstance. We have one lap to go. We have a final lap. Stumpy takes it in first place. Will he be there come the end of the lap? Dracer going down the outside late on the brakes. He's licked that stamp, sent it, received the reply, and he's already starting to write his next message. And that next message is to Wisey Boy. I'll tell you what, KB's having a run on Stumpy. Oh, he got so close. They both know. I don't know about Stumpy's penalties. No, he doesn't have any. So this is it. This is for position. Tracer, meanwhile, all over the back. We've got a Ferrari off. That's Moser at uh, the second chicane. Tracer. Oh, oh my God. Don't go side by side through both legs, Moser. That would be crazy. Why is he boy burning that ERS battery? Tracer's going to have one opportunity into the Parabolica to make that move stick. Got a great exit from Ascari. DRS isn't well, available Kate, here. Kate, going to go on Stumpy. The running out of ERS. Could he just send it just for the sake of it? No. He's not going to do it. He's going to have to try and get the run. Dreyser managed to get past Wisey Boy to take third. Great recovery considering he only had two laps to do it. Wisey Boy's off. Oh no! And Stumpy takes the win with Cavey second. Dreyser third. But Lewis, Lewis jumps ahead of Cavey. Both Williams fourth and fifth, oh, Wizard in sixth. Great drive. Last lap drama yet again. KV finishing second on track, but dropping to fourth after a last lap penalty. And the 60 of you that stayed in the joy, you, I hope you got treated there. That was amazing. That was great. Can I just say, down in fifth, codename Rainbow. Oh, codename Rainbow was getting him some points. Yep. Um, who else? Arba went for codename Rainbow as well. Um, there was hijacked, but he had an extra set of softs in there. But yeah, codename Rainbow works, people. So there we have it then. Stumpy bringing home 25 points for Alfa Romeo. I can't pretend I'm not slightly biased and pleased with that. Dracer in second place. So close to a victory. Uh, but that late pit stop has proven to have cost him the victory, I think, today. He'll still be happy, no doubt, with second place. And if you told him that before the start of the evening, I think he would have bitten your hand off for it. A man who would definitely bite your hand off for where he is at the moment. Lewis in P3, again, on the podium. KV last lap penalty cost him dearly there, takes him off the podium. Uh, down in P5, he will be happy after the start he had with that early wing damage. Wizard as well in P6, great recovery, but we always expect that from him without his, with his uh, lack of penalties. Hijacked and unseen in 7th and 8th. Rounding out the top 10, Faxland in P9, and I didn't see who was 10th. Uh, Lewis, uh, not Lewis, Arbor finished in 10th, so yeah, Faxland. There is a re proven reason why you do not give up. Yeah, you do not leave Somehow. unless you retire or absolutely have to. So then, two points. can you invite those lucky people? Those lucky, lovely people, yes, I can. Mm. Let's find a Stumpy, uh, and Andreas, 
a very excitable person as well. Lewis, yes. When shall we let Lewis go? Should we do it first or later? Uh, we'll let him go last, let him run a bit, and then. There you are. Sorry about that blue screen, everybody. I might have pressed the wrong button inadvertently. Yeah, so we'll let Lewis go last. Uh, Matt, someone in the chat's asking who was P15 through 19. Can you check, please? Uh, I'll try to. If you, you should be alright. If you go back on stream, you should be able to find it. I'll be able to scroll the whole back here. Good evening, chaps. How are we doing? Good evening. Then we'll start with uh, we'll start with you, Andreas. P2 led that race for so long. Oh, so. Do you regret oh, the pit on. stop? I don't know, mate. I, if if I stayed out, they probably would have pitted for self. I don't know. I thought they were going to, to pit as well. Uh, but I, I took the gamble and it was the wrong one. But, but you'll never know what they would have done. I'm just a little bit... A little bit, yeah. Yeah, well, not 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 the heaviest right now, but but P2 is P2 is all right. Could have got my first cost win today <laughs> uh, on track. I won at Monaco last season, but that was on penalties after the race, so a bit a bit disappointed, but but yeah, it was a fun race. One step closer, anyway, and yeah. it's, it's nice to see you back up here. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. Since we've been able to chat. I put in some. Hours of practice the last couple of, couple of weeks, and then yeah, I think you can tell by my pace. Uh, well, uh, what last week I qualified P18 or something, and now I'm qualified P5, so we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Next well. stop. Next stop, top step. That's what we want to see. Uh, Team Denmark is in the chat, by the way, Andreas, and they are. They were shouting very loudly both in yours and Faxon's support that's <laughs> 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 uh, no, great job on P2 man we'll uh, hopefully Thanks. see you again soon yeah hopefully Stumpy how are we doing <laughs> now putting the commentator's impartiality aside for just a second well played <laughs> well played it's what we needed <laughs> yeah. um, Overall constructors, here we come. Just uh, just talk us through that, because it looked like you you had the measure of KV for the majority of that race. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Um, initially, I tried to keep with Dresse, but he started pulling a couple of tents out of my reach, and then I just I started driving in my mirrors, and I, did, I had two warnings, and I didn't want to get a penalty, so the pace come off a bit, and then. KV was always there or thereabouts, but yeah, managed to keep it back. Yeah, and then he got that penalty on the last lap. That must have been a welcome surprise when he crossed the line. Uh, or was it a more of an annoyance? KV. KV, KV got one. I think he got one earlier on. Was it early yeah, on? He got one early. Yeah, yeah, because Tixi. still got another one at the end, but. Yeah, Titi said he, he had three seconds. He mm -hmm. followed my line through the second chicane. I didn't get a warning, but Gavey did. Oh, um, <laughs> or something like that. He'll be he'll be yeah. livid. Yeah. Perfect. Great. I can't wait <laughs> to see that one later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, no, it's, uh, so, what was your decision making behind not coming in then? Was that Titchy in your ear saying stay out, or was it just no. a case of opposite to Andreas? No, not really. I was staying out regardless because, well, there was a couple of racing laps left. I knew a couple of people around me had penalties, so even if they passed me, they'd do well to get a three-second gap. So I thought I just stay out anyway. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, Enigma's just said in the chat you are the new drivers championship leader after that result. Yeah, yeah well, I won't be for long. <laughs> no, never say never. 
Suck it up, mate. Soak it up. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy it while it is, but uh, I mean, I, people like Dressa today showed, you know, I'm not really going to be up there all the time because I just don't have the pace of some of these guys, but um, I'll take these wins whether I lock into them or whatever. Sometimes luck's all you need. Yeah. Um, but great job, man. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, man. Bring the points in for Alpha. Okay. Right. And I've deliberately left him till last. Lewis! Hey, guess who's back? Back again. Yeah. Race is back. It's out of random. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm Go. back on the podium. Go. Well, it's not really much to say. It was, you know, I expected P3 from starting P14, you know. That's what I do best. Make it qualifying an absolute nightmare and, you know, turn it round. <laughs> it was uh, me and, to be fair, me and YZ played an absolute blinder of uh, team play. Like, we, we took it in turns with you know, being in front of each other to save ERS. Um, safety car worked, um, you know, it obviously worked for him to be able to do his pit stop. And then, thankfully, I just hoped that a safety car would happen, and it did. And then at the end, we were sort of going, oh, who's going to put the soft on? And we thought, well, actually, let's, from after watching yesterday's race, it's like, why don't we just stay out? We're going to only have two laps. Um, we're going to see well, who the leaders are going to do, what the leaders are doing. Dresser was the only one who pitted. Um, and so I thought, right, well, two laps, we've got enough to just blast the overtake button, get away from everyone else. Um, and that's what happened. And I had two warnings, and I thought, well, if I just keep it clean, I've got a great chance of podium, and if the other guy's ahead of penalties, I might even win it. So I was heading towards the line, hoping, I was like, am I going to get P1 in this? But I'll happily take P3. Um, great result for the team. So unfortunate with YZ at the end. Um, but it's, uh, uh, you know, for us, thankfully, once again, we've done well. We did well in China as well. I uh, was just caught out by that. We learned a lesson now with the uh, whole safety car situation. But uh, yeah, so far, I've, I've I'd happily take two podiums out of the first three races, that's for sure. Yeah. British oh, karting champ Lewis living up to us. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Lewis, I'm from yeah. my perspective, uh, under the VSC, I think. Yeah. I saw a lot of weaving, a lot of indecision about your pit entry. What? So what oh, happened? What happened. Uh, so what happened was um, I asked YZ whether he was going to pit, and he decided um, at last minute to pit. So I'd already started to dedicate my line, and then I was like, okay, then I'll move uh, back into position onto the racetrack. Um, it was uh, it was one of those moments where it was just a last minute call. It was either he was going to stay out, he was going to stay out, and then he weaved to, the, to go in the pits. I was already on that way, so I came back. Um, but uh, it was before the uh, pit entry line, so um, yeah, it was... Uh, it was fine, but uh, yeah, just you know, I couldn't leave it any later. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was a it was a tight call. But that's the thing when your teammates next to each other in a safety car situation, it's uh, you've got to think quick on your feet. So yeah, I think that's one of the shorter interviews you've ever done, Lewis. But well said, either yeah, I'm, way. I'm, I'm trying to improve it. I'm trying to you know. No, get... no, no. You talk on if you want to talk. I'm, I'm... I'm cutting the fat out of my conversation, mate. I'm uh, new. Obviously, this season's a new me because I couldn't dream of having. You know, it's been fantastic so far. Bring it on. Yeah. Thomas was keeping you down, wasn't he? Yeah, you... no, Well, no. To be honest, I, I praise him. He's the one. You know, at the end of last season, I was start, the last two races were really good, and uh, yeah, it's carrying on. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna big you up as being a hidden talent because of Thomas, but fair <laughs> enough. If he's the man who unlocked it, then well. No, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put Thomas down. No, he, you're uh, not gonna do him dirty like that. No, no, <laughs> God, no. no, not live on television. Not live on television. Anyway, but uh, we'll leave it there, mate. Congratulations on P3. Well done. Thank you. Thank and you. I would say, hopefully, see you again. But on the balance of what's been going on, we more than likely will. Yeah, uh, can you believe it's done? Actually, a title contender. Wow. Jesus. You heard it here first. Someone clip that. We can show it yeah. to him at the end of the season. Blade, you're on it. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it's all falling down from here. <laughs> it is. But uh, we'll end the stream there. Thank you.
very much for watching, all of you guys at home. Thank you, you three, and everybody else who drove for giving us something mighty to commentate on, especially those last couple of laps. Uh, if you have enjoyed the stream and you want to see more of it, you can tune in every, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday to watch a Contest of Speed. That's the four European tiers at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday at 10pm in the UK and 11pm Central European time. Uh, and that would be European tiers 3, 2, 1 and 4. If you want to watch our American guys go hammer and tongs round Monza, you can do so later tonight. Uh, that would be 2am in the UK on Wednesday and 2am in the UK on Thursday. If you want to do that in Eastern, that's 9pm Tuesday and 9pm Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. We hope to see you all there. Uh, as for us, we will be back next week with the French Grand Prix. We hope to see you all then. Thank you very much again for watching. Good night.